is the following graph symmetrical? In this lesson, you will learn to describe patterns in data sets by looking at dot plots and histograms. Let's review. This is a dot plot and the X's represent the frequency of occurrence. And in a histogram, we talk about that with the ranges and the bars. Common misunderstanding. In a dot plot, we can talk about the mode or the number that occurs most often, in this case two. In a histogram, we talk about it in terms of a peak because we're looking at a range. So in this case, the range of 61 to 80 is the peak. If you have a cluster, that is data points that are grouped together. So you can see in the histogram between 70 to 100, there is a cluster. On the dot plot, there are two clusters between 11 and 13 and 16 and 18. A peak is the highest data points. So in this histogram, it's for 61 to 80. In this histogram, there are two peaks, one between three and four and one for seven and eight. A gap is an area of the graph without any data. See on our dot plot, there's a gap between 5 and 8. And on the histogram, there's a gap between 60 to 69. Next, we look at symmetry. If a vertical line is drawn in the graph, are the two sides the same? So if we look at our histogram, we can put our vertical line in here and the two sides are mirror images of each other. So we would say that is symmetrical. And the same with this other histogram. On this dot plot, if we put a vertical line through the two, then we could say this is symmetrical. If we put a vertical line on the four, then we would say this is not symmetrical. So now that we know what we're looking for with our patterns, let's look at this dot, dot plot and see if we can identify our patterns. So we have a gap between 20 and 22. We have a cluster between 22 and 25. And it is not symmetrical. We can do the same thing for a histogram. So we have a peak between 45 and 49, and then we have gaps at either end of the graph between 35 and 39 and 55 and 59. And our cluster is in the middle between 40 to 54. And our graph is not symmetrical. In this lesson, you have learned how to describe patterns and data sets by looking at dot plots and histograms.